What's up everybody? It's Mover and it's been a little over a year since uh, F-15 Strike Eagle B-Course Wizzo laid down the gauntlet and challenged me to review the Battlefield 3 F-18 Hornet mission. Apparently a Strike Eagle Wizzo awaiting B-Course start. However, there's a mission in the game Battlefield 3, I believe, where you are an F-18 Wizzo and goes through some dogfighting and I think a Mover Ruins Movies type video. For that would be kind of entertaining to watch. Obviously it's a video game from 2011, but it, I find it quite fun to hear someone with way more experience than me break stuff down. Oh, by the way, when going through IFF, F-16 pilots seem to need the most prompts, but I digress. So a little bit of trash talking from the student Puezo. And I did uh, one of the first Mover Ruins Gaming's uh, review on that. That video uh, now has uh, 6 million views, it's crazy. but. We cut it short and only did the air-to-air -air stuff, so after a year, uh, I think I'm ready. I think we can take a look at the air-to-ground portion of that mission and the rest of that. Uh, but before we begin, quick pitch. Uh, if you haven't checked it out already, uh, I'll leave a link in the description and a card up above, but check out our Indiegogo page for Fights On. At the end of this video, you'll see a trailer, but we're trying to create a dogfight show via crowdfunding. So thank you for your support. I hope you'll enjoy. Uh, that project and enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. And play. Say a hundred day away? Probably not. I think a horn will do that. I made a mic once. Shark four six. I'm now joining strike formation. Over. I'm now doing what I was supposed to do the whole time. Hogs. Sam signals. Uh, dirt, mud, something like that. Switch over to targeting pod and take them out. Okay. Heavy two one two four six. Rolling on a target area with potential high value target over. There's that Roger. over again. A lot of people ask about the over thing. Ground pounders say over. Pilots, we usually don't say over. It's just not a thing. So this is supposed to be a targeting pod, and we are the uh, in the harm. So I guess anti radiation missiles going after uh, surface to air missile threats. Ground element, call sign Reaper 1 in the area. And I guess they're transmitting the data link. I don't, I don't know what the transmitter is. Coming in for a JDAM drop. They're getting close on those rounds. I'll be honest, that part is realistic. Having cloud cover, it always obscures the targeting pod. You always have little puffy clouds. It just never fails anytime you're trying to do something. Uh, why can it never be a clear VFR day? 4-6 is switching over to ATM-88. Okay, right, that's valid. <laughs> so, if you're really hitting SAMs, you're right on top of them. You wouldn't, I mean, you'd have been shot down by the SAM before you even got a chance to light up the SAM. Usually we do it at a standoff distance. You wouldn't be right on top looking down, because that's what he is. He's looking down, uh, trying to target the uh, SAMs. So... Yeah, you're probably dead already. Cool. But it's a video game, so whatever. Uh, see, that's a triple A piece. That looks like triple A flak coming off of it. I, I think they'd have been better off just saying this is a mission to kill the triple A anti-aircraft artillery than trying to say it's SAM, because unless it's like a man pad or a uh, short range SAM, you really wouldn't be over the top of it, trying to kill it with a harm. Yeah, that's that's triple A. Radar guided triple A is really what you're going after. And see, it went straight down. So this is all stuff you do stand off. I understand video game. I don't know if that's trying to say it's 3.8 miles, but don't let them lock us up. Now, how are we supposed to not let them lock them up? He's the Wizzo in the back. He's not maneuvering the jet. I 
Okay. That's your job there, front seater. I like how the pilot is the cheerleader in this scenario. Wrong. Come on, Hawkins, stop sucking. All right, so we cleared the SAMs using harm missiles. How copy? Select JDAM bomb guidance. So a JDAM, uh, Joint Direct Attack Munition, it is a GPS guided weapon. Okay, that says JDAM LDES. I'm guessing that's supposed to be laser designator. However, um, most GPS kits don't use laser. The only one really is the GBU-54, uh, which I don't know if it was really mainstream back then. And for the most part, you'd just be plugging in the coordinates and dropping uh, using coordinates. You wouldn't laser, laser designate anything. 4-6, copy. Okay, Hawkins. Switch to infrared. Find him. Yeah, having... That is the targeting pod I want to have, because having that good a fidelity through clouds like that is awesome. Four, six, the main not great. Just want to cross the runway now. Call in the JDAM to destroy all parts. So we don't have any JDAMs on our Keep jet. Okay. On target. No. Good kill. No. Okay, so even if they were using, I guess, 54s, you wouldn't buddy lays that um i mean i could see conceivably if it were like a ford air controller scenario where you're designating the target and you're doing a talk on and they just want to make this an abbreviated version of that but i don't know why they what really would have made more sense is if they had called it a gbu 12 or gb 10 a laser guided bomb lgb if they'd have said these are lgbs perfect i mean nothing wrong with that but jdam just wrong i mean it i don't think this fits in this scenario but it's fun. I mean, you get to practice uh, lazing targets for somebody else, which you do. I mean, other than the fact that it's a JDAM. You really wouldn't need to roll in like that. Mostly it's level. So you wouldn't see, unless you're way high, you know, you really wouldn't see them roll in with a diving delivery that much. I mean, you could. It's possible, but typically no. I like the heavy breathing. Go cold Mike! Stop breathing back there. Bombs away. Three seconds. Bombs away. So there's calm, laser on, um, thunder, stuff like that that they could use. Bombs away for a video game. It's fine. Three seconds. Um, that bomb is going to dud. Three seconds is nothing. That's not enough time. That, they should have been up higher. So mission fail. Yep, good kill. The game didn't care. But yeah, usually you want more than three seconds. I got your lays. Coming in. I got your lays. Coming in. No. Good kill. What are they? What's the wait for? I don't know what we're waiting on because we're just lazing. Hawkins, reference those three bunkers across from the main terminal. Use infrared and laser them for striker 2-2. Yeah. That's it. See, same thing. They should have just used GB-12s or something for targets like that. Although, this would be a good scenario for a GB-54. This is Reaper-1. you got another fighter turning onto the runway now. Is that, so is that Tom Cruise? It sounds like Maverick. Three seconds. Yeah. Not really much. Three seconds is not a long time for a bomb to fall. That thing's going to dud. Dud being, it won't explode. This is Reaper One. Uh, three vehicles moving along the runway. This yeah, the dude sounds like Maverick. That's good. They got the crossover there. How copy? Roger. How copy? Stop saying how copy. Get ready to laser for Bulldog Three Three. What are we lasing now? 
Reaper 1, heavy 212. Be advised, you have a single aircraft approaching from the south at low speed, altitude 502. Altitude 502 is oddly specific, and I don't even know what it means. Is it 502 feet? 50,000 feet? I mean, that's... I usually just say 500 feet. I mean, I don't think they even know in single feet. Like, oh, but 502 feet. Oh, well, thank you. I was looking for them at 501 feet. Do you have eyes on? Over. Roger. It's a helicopter. Cali target, visual like friendly, contact, any of these words, nothing. You have 4-6 on station. 4-6, this is Reaper 1. We need them to get out of the car so we can verify it's our target. Stand by to engage. We will laze for gun run. Okay, so this is one of those things that it's kind of a tweener because you could, so the A-10 guys could be, put their pods in like a laser target track. So you could laze it and then they could track it with their pod and know that that's the same target, but you don't need to laze bullets. I mean, that's kind of obvious. So yeah, I mean, I go at 50-50 on that one because it could be just a how you're marking the target so that they can track your laser and know what you're looking at. Ron, how copy? Stop saying how copy. They're definitely PLR. You're clear to engage. You're clear to engage. Cleared hot. Clear to engage is type three control. So um, depending on what the forward air controller is saying, type one control uh, being he sees both the target and the aircraft that's rolling in, type two being he sees one or the other, and type three being he just gives you a target set and says clear to engage. Uh, but cleared hot would have sound a lot, sounded a lot cooler on this. Paint the area. Train train is standing by. Paint the area. Lazy. Press three now. They're boarding the helicopter. Roger. Two seconds. Two seconds. They don't give me much time at all. So, honestly, once he captures the target, the laser is no longer necessary because he's just going to do it visually. There's almost no point to lazing the gun run. Beyond target identity. We have individuals running. You are cleared to take them out too. Roger. 810 cast. Why does Roger. it say that in Three the bottom seconds. corner? Switch off the camera. Let's get back to the bottom. He's just telling her what to do. Turn off your camera. Focus back there. Heavy 212. Short 46 egressing out of target area. Oh, well, now we got NVGs on. A night trap. You got the ball. Boy, LSOs are just. I got the ball. Bring her down. I got the ball. Bring her down. <laughs> I don't think the LSOs will like this comp. Oh, we got a power. Wave off. Oh, he flared. Oh, he shouldn't have flared. And they don't wear night vision goggles to the boat, so you wouldn't see all this green. But whatever. Well, cool. It didn't get better. Uh, I take that back. It kind of did. I mean, some of it was kind of like I can see where they were going. Maybe I'm just getting... Maybe 2020 has ruined me to the point that I'm kinder, gentler now in these video games. But um, yeah, it, it's still not very realistic, but fun. I mean, I played it a long time ago. Uh, other than the fact that you're a Wizzo, it's kind of a fun mission. I don't know. I prefer the tank stuff, to be honest with you. Or the helicopters. Those are fun, too. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, stand by. At the end of this, there'll be the 30-second uh, trailer, 36-second trailer for Fights On, a uh, dogfighting show we're trying to crowdfund via Indiegogo. I uh, hope you'll enjoy it. Please consider supporting. 5% will go to Folds of Honor. And if you don't want to support that, just support Folds of Honor. Uh, it's an educational scholarship it's for fallen or injured service members uh, and their family members. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.